So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the parse in function and how you can use it to convert a string value into a number data type. So let's say we've got a variable that's got a string assigned to it. In this case, the variable is called value and it has a string that has the characters of 300 inside it. We can convert that into a number by using the parse in function. Let's create a new variable called result. And it's simply a case of calling parse int and then passing in the value that you want to convert. So in this case, we're using the value that's stored inside of the value variable. So let's examine the contents of the result variable. And as you can see, it's the same value that's stored inside of the value variable, but it's no longer a string, it's actually a number. And we can confirm that by using the type of operator on the value variable to see that it's string and the type of operator on the result variable should give us number. So that's essentially all it does. It just converts a string into a numerical value. And of course, there are a couple of other different ways that you can do this as well. You can replace the parse int function with a number object constructor, uh, which will pretty much do exactly the same thing. And that's totally fine as well. Or there is another option here as well of using a plus operator to coerce the value that's inside of the string into an actual number as well. And that does work, but it can lead to some confusing code. And if you're following some style guides, such as the Airbnb style guide, uh, you can see that they advise against using the uh, plus operator to do that, and rather to rely on uh, using the number constructor or the parse in function. Uh, and one final thing as well, it shouldn't really be too much of a problem for modern browsers, uh, but you can actually optionally specify a radix value. So what uh, base of number that you want to parse the integer as. Uh, so generally you're going to be parsing it into base 10. So you can pass that in as an additional parameter. And as mentioned, it shouldn't cause any problems, but some older browsers may try and interpret your string differently if you don't supply it with a radix argument. So for sake of clarity, it's always worth just providing that second value to the parsing function as well. So that's it for the parse int function in JavaScript. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.